Okay, here's my maiden voyage at a recorded mini lecture for you guys. So you will have read the uh, intro to the Victorian age and have uh, the quiz. I want you to also read um, Alfred Lord Tennyson's uh, bio that's included in the lit book for you. Um, he's our poet who we're going to focus on the most for the Victorian age. Uh, he was the longest um, reigning poet laureate appointed by Queen Victoria as soon as William Wordsworth died in 1850. He was a poet laureate for 42 years. Um, just so the opposite of Lord Byron, as you'll see with the Victorian age, a um, shift away from a complete focus on individuality and man's own um, importance in society and back to a whole time period of morality championed by Queen Victoria. Uh, Lord Tennyson took his role very, very seriously in being poet laureate for her and he was incredibly patriotic, um, personally a very shy, emotional individual. Um, it was very handsome like Lord Byron, but the opposite of Lord Byron. Um, while he was at Trinity College, he befriended Arthur Henry Hallam, who became one of his closest friends and then suddenly died, um, which Tennyson deemed one of the most tragic events of his life. He became much more reclusive after that and essentially spent 10 years writing um, elegiac poetry regarding his friend's death. Um, In Memoriam, which is a compilation of um, a lot of poems each kind of chronicle his grief process um, that you'll see later in our unit. Our opening little poem that you're going to read uh, tonight here on Wednesday night is Break, 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 which gives you a fairly good uh, taste of Tennyson's poetry. Um, in my mind, he's kind of the master of using anapestic. Um, felt like a lot of our Elizabethan guys and even the Romantic Age guys focused on iambic much more and the anapestic use. If you remember uh, Charge of the Light Brigade that uh, he used that. Anyways, he uses anapestic a fair amount, so just kind of take note of that when you're reading some of his poetry. I'm going to be assigning a fair amount of it individually to you and then have you writing about it as a rhetorical analysis on your Thursday time rights, which will continue our AP practice. Um, I I am planning on assigning one poem uh, for each one of you to do a little mini poem analysis that you actually post on the thread on Google Classroom. So I'm hoping that works well also. And I'm going to see if I can post this thing onto Google Classroom now.